um, promos of the battle. So he had a clip of Calico in a Lux battle talking about basically the new pe the new guys in the in the, in the vets. I thought it was funny they had a clip of Aver with <laughs> Calico song playing in the background. <laughs> I was like, yo, they dirty, bro. <laughs> It was a lot of stuff. Yeah, it might be looking crazy. Might be choke. <laughs> I heard. Yeah. Like, say something like I had an angle about his girl or something. Yeah, about four or five bars, and he was like, damn. That be no worse. Looked around, was like, time. <laughs> it might be choke time. <laughs> Alright, you already know him now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, welcome to the HC. I'm your host, Agent M. Bay, inside HCR our studios. And today, I'm talking to my homie, my brother, Ray Johnson. Uh, first met Ray, first first encountered Ray uh, at a show he had at the Corner Gallery. I say it's probably one of the best shows I've been to here since I've been here for the past five years. Uh, her story, uh, I researched that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was a super fire show. Uh, I say encounter not met because like, I probably hollered at you like at some point you can and just give you like yo good show bro this is dope and you just was like alright yeah appreciate you uh, but it wasn't like oh I know you I know you it wasn't none of that <laughs> none of that um, I know I was I was just surprised I remember pulling up and I was just like all these people here <laughs> y'all know how big this space is <laughs> how y'all here they had fortress in there I was like getting it in and I was like yeah nah I need I need to know what's up with this audience that you got because I, I don't know how you pulled this off. <laughs> this is fire. I, mean, I think the only other show I see that packed in this area was Clayton when he had to join the Norfolk State. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, and then you was there too. Yeah. You just didn't know each other. Was was me and Lauren, that. not to cut you off my bad, but me and Alex left our show to come there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's like, yeah, boy. <laughs> Yo, we I mean, said I was like. late to her story, <laughs> I'm there. Yeah, I, was, I, I was late to the show, and then I was people so I hear and hear here, it's real. Oh, he's on the way. He's on the way. I was like, yo, he's got this joint <laughs> set up so good. People out here just like hearing, like just voice whispering, like, "What's Ray? Where's the artist?" And it, matter of fact, the big, the craziest part of that show to me was that there was six paintings on the wall. That yeah. was it. Yeah. Like I got six big paintings all the same size, and you had <laughs> you had the city out yeah. there. And I was like, yo, he had the sisters was out there with their African print as <laughs> joints. I was like, yo, well, I don't know. I need to know all these people. What's up? <laughs> like, I was trying to steal. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, that was super dope. Appreciate I spit on the mic at that joint a couple times. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all don't know. I do rap a little bit sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was a crazy show. Um, so that's how I met Ray-ish. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know when we officially met after that. Oh, it might have been at that album. Joined the Charles Taylor, yeah, with the Clayton had, had that was uh, right after curated. That. Yeah, it was like yeah, right that was after like that. Right after that. So yeah, yeah I think after like, that we started like Parish. Like, like, she was like, oh yeah, it's right over there. Yeah. Let's talk. So, yeah, I see you. Yeah, da, da. Yeah. I think like we had probably seen each other work, known each other through Instagram, but then it was like we started to recognize each other at at events yeah. or just in passing. Yeah, like we might be at Clayton Jang or we might be at some random, and it's like. Okay, this is my eighth time seeing you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, so obviously, yeah. we went to the same. Right. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, had a conversation. <laughs> it was good. Send me a D or something. <laughs> facts, facts. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I like I like relationships that you kind of build like that. You yeah. Know, mad naturally, not here. Like, oh, I heard you, whatever. Just let it rock. Yeah. Like, um, a couple people, it's like, yeah, I'm still not going over there and talking to this dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm talking to him. But, whatever. Thanks for coming out there. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> <laughs> Way out. Oh man, we'll get in trouble like, in this video, bro. We'll get in trouble in this video. I like it. Oh man. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyway, let's get to some, some questions about you, right. so people get to know you a little bit better. Um. I mean, main question I always ask is, what is like just your art story, your art origin, a little background on you? Uh, art origin. Art origin. Uh, I've probably been. I've been drawing forever. You know, that goes back to first grade or whatever, drawn on the walls or whatever, whatever. Um, Bad boy. You know, so went to school down in Atlanta, went to College of Art, Savannah College of Art and Design. Mm. Uh, but I think my painting story starts, you know, and it gets kind of personal, but I'll, I'll share it. Uh, Another exclusive! 
Like, you know what I mean? Uh, my dad passed uh, 2009, June 2009. Uh, like two days after, I was in school. I was at Savannah. Mm-hmm. I was art design or whatever. Um, I just got back in there or whatever. Came home for a little while. Had some issues myself. Couple issues myself and work to get myself back in school. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right, like typically, about to finish up, go on my life. Mm-hmm. Dad passed maybe like two months after I got back in. Two days after the funeral, my girlfriend at the time, which is my wife now, tells me she's pregnant with, with our son. So it's like a Obviously, a world yeah. of emotions, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I actually stopped doing anything art for maybe about three years. Anything. Drawing. Mm-hmm. At that time, I didn't even paint. I never painted, you know yeah. what I mean? I, like, this is stupid. Like, I don't understand how to paint. Yeah. I just didn't understand it. Like, yeah. this isn't as dry. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this works, you know? And, um, yeah, it took about two, three years to get myself back into art. I actually started with photography. Because it was like, all right. I want to take my own content to draw or whatever. You know, so yeah. that. And then once um, I picked the brush up, I was like, oh, this is dope. And honestly, like, I had a professor or art teacher or whatever. I wanted to be an illustrator. Mm-hmm. I had a comic strip for a little while and everything. I was in a couple papers and, and everything. You know, um, and he was like, nah, you're not no illustrator. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my attitude, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, I cussed them out or whatever. <laughs> And then years later, I call him. Like, I still had his email or whatever, yeah. his number. I call him. like, yo, you was right. <laughs> you, you, was, you was absolutely right. My bad. You know, but whatever. <laughs> My bad. And I picked that brush up. It was just a freedom. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like with drawing, everything was so technical. And I was probably doing a lot of portraits. And it's like, you know. It don't look like my grandmother. I don't like it. But it's like, it do look like a grandmother. <laughs> it was like, you know, it was just, but painting is just, there really no rules, mm-hmm. you know? And it looks like that because I want it to look like that. Yeah. Like, you know, kind of like the piece that you bought, like the, that's over there, yeah. <laughs> like the fast forward, it's like, it's the title, not Badu. It's like, yeah. I just painted it. You know yeah. what I mean? But I was looking at Badu, but it's like, this ain't her. Yeah. But I like well, I like the pose or whatever. Right. So it's like, whatever. I could title it, not Badu. And yeah. people are like, yo, that's Eric Badu. Nah, it's not Badu. <laughs> it's a fact. You know what I mean? So uh, that's kind of how I got into art, just just picking it up and then falling. I mean, pick got into painting, mm-hmm. picking up and falling into it. And then I guess as my style started to got better or whatever, and my style and my things really came from my came from my family. You know what I mean? I think I always emphasize that, and my my shows are always based around what's going on in my life. You know, um, how I'm growing as a man, or yeah. growing within my role as a, as a husband or a father. You know what I mean? Just you know, having another baby last year, I see my whole world just changing again. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I see the roles of my house changing. You know what I mean? Like my like my son going from the baby to the middle child, like it mm. actually fits him. Yeah. It's like you know what I mean? Like you couldn't be the youngest, bro. Like, I'm the youngest. You know, you don't have this <laughs> middle child fits you. And my daughter growing into, you know, like the elder statement of that statement yeah. of the house, you know, how how she moves, the rest of the house kinda moves. Mm. And I see that in my sister from you know what I mean? So I take that into my household from growing up. It's like wow. So I think um yeah, that's kinda how painting started for me and then that's kind of how I shaped what I wanted to do and how I wanted to paint and how I wanted to express what was going on with me because it's like honestly this is all I really do is yeah. think about my family and you know what I mean or myself within my family but it's like let's express that you know so I don't know yeah. um and so <laughs> I know that Clayton somewhere fits in the story of your inspiration <laughs> <laughs> uh I, I, feel, I know, yeah, I know the, you know the, yeah, the the, bot, the base level of, of, of y'all relationship, but um, yeah, I'm curious to hear like you know at least that that uh, too. Like, I've like, I, known Clayton since middle school. He was art teacher at Azalea, mm-hmm. and then he became the art teacher at Lake Taylor. But I was never taught by Clayton ever. So I have friends in high school. 
I have friends that had nothing to do with art, that had a better relationship than Clayton than I did. Because uh -huh. they just had an art class with him. Yeah. And Clayton's so cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Clayton's the most popular teacher in the, in the, in the, in the whole school. Yeah. But it's like, I'm the best artist in this school, and I can't even, this guy doesn't even know me. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, for whatever reason, I kind of, that pissed me off. And I was kind of mad at Clayton. But I think that was, Im Im you know, me being yeah. immature. Yeah. Like, I was really mad at myself for not, you know, walking up to him, thinking that I got to be in this class to develop a relationship yeah. with this guy. And, um, and or thinking, like, well, I don't paint. I don't, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know nothing. Like, yeah. Or just, just thinking, like, how artists are now. Like, I'm supposed to, you're supposed to come to me. Mm -hmm. It's like, nah, I don't work like that. You're like, you know, I got what you want. You yeah. come to me. And once you come to me, I'll give you everything. You know right. what I mean? Cause that's how Clayton is. Yeah. You come to him, he's going to, and then do this. Yeah. Come for all this. <laughs> come for that's all how this. That's we <laughs> <laughs> <At that. laughs> So I think um, our relationship grew when I, ca when I got back from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. He had a show at the Art Center. And my mother's a teacher. So okay. um, Clayton and my mom would, would cross paths. I don't even know if he knew that that was my mom. You right. know what I mean? And she bought one of his books or whatever. Like I got his, his early books. And we went to his show. And it's like he knew me, but he didn't know me. And I think from there, I think our relationship grew like how me and your relationship grew. I started coming out to more stuff. I started getting into painting. Yeah. You know, I started making myself known. I'm an artist. Right. You know, and then it just gradually built up. And then it was like, you know, yeah, you know, I always knew you from high school or middle school. Yeah. But you never, you know, you never said anything. Yeah. So it was like. And like you said earlier, I kind of, I enjoy that. I appreciate that it grew like that. Yeah. I, I appreciate that I've, I've got to know Clayton better as a man. You know what I mean? Right. And talk to him. Whereas, you know, I still look up to him like, you know, as an older guy or just my teacher. Right. But as, on some levels, I could talk to Clayton as a man, like man to man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just being a father and being, mm -hmm. you know, a husband and stuff like that. That's a fact. So. Yeah, y'all do got that in common. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Um, it's cool. Keep this. <laughs> Keep this. Noted. <laughs> oh man, it's funny. Um, so yeah, like, I do. I remember I, I do notice like your early works were majority black and white, especially with the the, the skin tone, at least of the figures. Yeah. And I know that you know most of your figures. Uh, you already kind of said it, like, how, what they reference. Um, but like getting to like when you while you were working in black and white and then when you moved to something different, uh, I let you find what the different was because as much as I know, could let let you your words. <laughs> like why I was doing it black and white. Yeah, or what? I think that was just easier because I was doing you know pencil work. Yeah. So shading, you know, light. It was just an easy trans transition. You know what I mean? Like, um, as you know, artists know sometimes. I know a lot of artists who can't do black and white because they can't see the shadows. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like especially if they're doing, you know, um, portraits. Yeah. Like they just can't see it. They don't understand the tones or whatever. For me, it was the opposite. I couldn't understand tones when it came to color. It was just like I don't see it. Yeah. I don't see where the light is hitting. I don't. You know what I mean? Right. I can't make this look like how I wanted to look. And um, yeah, just practice. You know yeah. what I mean? Just. Right. Not good. Yeah. <laughs> it Believe me, it's you know, a lot of times like, I'm just not that good right just, now. I, I just had to take a step back and be like, you know what? It ain't even all this super duper art. I suck. Yeah. <laughs> just suck. <laughs> you know, and I think um, I started wanting to get into color because I just felt like, you know, you look at a reference or you got this idea and it's like, this is better in color. Mm -hmm. Just like, when I started going into oil, it was like, I still paint some things in acrylic. Yeah. It's like, this is better in acrylic. You know what I mean? Right. Most of the stuff is in oil now. It's just, yeah. it's like it's having an option now. You know, so it's yeah. like, you know, I'm going to do this in black and white. Because it's kill in black and white more than it will in, in, um, in color. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Even when you're doing in color, you're picking, picking your palette. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, I might play with, if I got a reference and... In a reference, the model or whatever, or the person is more of a, a light skin. It's like, nah, I'm gonna make her, you know, 
darker. Yeah. You know, it's going to hit better, you know, the purples and the reds and yeah. the skin. You know what I mean? I'm going to do something different. So I think all that is just choosing mm-hmm. how you feel, what you're trying to say in your piece. Right. That's going to come come across. Facts. Facts. Yeah, I agree. And uh, it, 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 it get to a point as an artist where you realize, like, how much more control you have over your exactly. imagery to where, like, you can really look at a reference as just a reference mm-hmm. and everything else is coming from your head. Because even what you were saying about the Not By Do joint and, um, and like, you know, you might be drawing something from a reference and you want it to look like the reference, but all you really try to do is just make sure that it still looks like a human. You know what I mean? Like, first yeah. off, I remember hitting that point a couple of times, like, this don't look like who I was drawing, but if nobody ever sees this reference, this is just a good drawing of a person. Yeah. Like, it still makes sense for a portrait. You know what I mean? And so, um, so yeah, that, that, that's fine. I got another man like that. It's a black and white. I probably just DM it to you. It's supposed to be Scissor. Mm. And I, um, I think I was DMing. I was DMing somebody. I was like, this is either going to be a fire scissor or it's going to be a fire painting that's some random. And I think it sold like in five minutes when I posted it. I was like, it's just some random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to go random. I yeah, like, right. Put the, put the freckles up there. And it didn't look nothing like her, but that's, yeah. I think that's why I felt that's like, wow, way. it's like, I can use this. Yeah. That's just a reference, like you know what I mean, just for a placement you know, or a composition. Mm-hmm. This fits onto a twelve by twelve. That's, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like this is dope. This is a dope yeah. picture that I found that can work. Yeah. Speaking so, of your twelve by twelve, the one I bought was probably the third one <laughs> that it took me to get to actually get one. Because <laughs> I always was slacking on, on like, damn, I'm gonna get that joint. I'm gonna get that joint. I just keep looking at it. <laughs> you were really asking me about those? I think, uh, who is it? Um, Q5 bought one that I Q wanted. Q got one. It was, I think it was the father. Yeah, he got the father one, yeah. Yeah. I was pissed. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to start coming visiting homies. Just keep to look at it. <laughs> you gotta pull up. <laughs> <laughs> I was hot, bro. Like, yeah. I was like, y'all ain't gonna let him. I was like, I, I remember yeah. telling myself, I was like, the moment I see another one that just hit me right, yeah. I'm gonna send my two message. I'm like, I need that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care what it takes. Cause yeah, I got tired of missing out on art because you know I like I like to do my little bit of collecting too. That's um, yeah, that's when I started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. something else I was going. That I was going to just ease right into that because not as it's being not just an artist but also being a uh, fairly avid collector of of, of, of art. Um, like, what what inspired you to start getting other people's art? Um, really, it was my wife. She got tired of painting something it's on the wall then I gotta take it down for a show mm-hmm. or I don't want it on the wall no more because I don't want to do something like it you know what I mean like yeah. you, it's like all right that I did that let me take all this so she got tired of the bare walls and just stuff is up stuff is down um she always liked the house filled with art so we just started buying like we just started we started with um I think I went on Clayton's site and I copped his um I forget the title. It was something. The one that he brought to do the to, to do the talk with. It was it's framed up. So which talk? Oh, I was the talk yeah, I was talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was the painting of a blue. The person painting up the blue. The shorty. The woman. The woman. She has a crown. Right. Yeah, the, the, the purple the, on the, one um, side, blue on the yeah. other. It was like a blue something. The name of it, I can't. I can't. I can't. Remember. So like, yeah, we caught that. I was like, I gotta get that. Like that yeah. was crazy. Then he had like another one on sale, so I copied two. And then I was just like, okay, what what pieces do you know? What I'm saying I really, I really really like. You know, we can only do prints right now. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, so it's like, what's in our budget? And then it was like, what definitely? You know, who am I going to support? And I think the next person was definitely Alyssa. Mm-hmm. You know, I was, you know, she's one of my favorite yeah. in the area. Um, and then it was like, my mind started thinking because it was like, what's well, changing? Cause it was like you go from this is art that I really like to do I want to buy this, you know what I mean? And then that kind of changed how I paint it. Mm. If I'm always going to paint for what I want, but then I kind of started pitting like a collective type of mind going into right. my work. Like, is this somebody, somebody, you know, just something somebody wants in their home, or is this something that I'm just doing, yeah. which is cool. If I'm just doing it, then I'll keep it. You know what I mean? I won't put it on the same path. Yeah. Or expect the same things from it that, you know what I mean, I'm trying to do a show with or really, you know what I'm saying, I need, I need to get the 
this cash yeah. right fast, you know. So it was just like um, just looking at art differently, which was you know really really cool. Mm -hmm. And then that's around when you know COVID first started. So I was like, I really can't wait till we go back into these galleries and go back into these shows yeah. and take that different way I'm looking at art into there, like looking at it as a consumer. Mm -hmm. you know, do I want to buy this or do right. I want to wake up to this every day? So it was, it was just it's exciting, yeah. you know what I mean. So I think like. It's just something new in art that keeps me, you know, in it. Because I think we both know, you know, just painting isn't just everything that makes me an artist. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we, I know it's said all the time, but we, we live this. Yeah. You know? Like, I cannot right. paint ever again. And I'm an artist. <laughs> yeah. This is how, how I view so, everything. Yeah. You know, how, how I go about my life makes me an artist. I just take that and put it on the canvas. Or if I feel like going back to photography or yeah. writing some poems. Yeah. I feel like buying it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm looking at it like that. So it just gave me another dimension of who I am as an artist. It's like, wow. You know, I, I got a dope little... I think my favorite one is Sharice. I don't care. I'm going to say that. Yeah. I don't care. I like your collection. <laughs> Sharice Shank is dope. Yeah, I was looking at it. I was like, I like that. They tell you just bought the stuff too. I don't know if that was her. Yeah, name. nah, it's um, Sage. Um, what's her name? Ashley. Her name is Ashley Sage. Uh, yeah. I've been following her for a minute. Um, she she's starting to grow. Like like really like she's been going like like super super hard. I've been mm -hmm. following her for a little while, and then she really tapped into that black and white, which caught my eye because yeah. coming you know starting off as black and white, like, like what she doing with that? I was like, that's crazy. It's smooth, and I'm on. I think I, I wanted to, I wanted to do like local first, yeah. but she was definitely like, man, you know, once I, you know, am ready to tap and get back out there, I'm definitely supporting her as first. Right. I think she's down in South Carolina, right. and she was supposed to have a show in Richmond that uh, I was hoping to get up to, like to mm -hmm. meet her. This was back, and this was I think it was supposed to be like in August or something, but you know, COVID messed all that up. So, yeah. you know. yeah, yeah, I'm definitely getting more of her stuff. I'm thinking about copping like two more. It's fire. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just, I just, I just spent a bit of money on some art recently. Mm. Between the past like two weeks, and with this is uh, an artist, uh, Lynn McClure had a, a photography, um, he had a print sale, and I was familiar with his work. Yeah, he's exhibited at the museum and Norfolk offsite gallery. <laughs> Met him a couple times, so I was like, I have to slide over there and see what he got. His prints was like forty dollars. Mm. Like he just had he's, he's an old artist, so he's got that's like that's even part of his legacy <laughs> in my collection. <laughs> I was like, all right, I got this my budget. <laughs> that's fit double it. <laughs> Go out the <laughs> I was looking at just I was like, what if I can pull a deal off of some of these small <laughs> things? I, I need that. I need that. <laughs> I started off with like I was gonna say at one point I had like fifteen joints. I was like, I gotta cut this oh, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I started cutting joints out, <laughs> putting joints back, and I was like, I'm gonna go with these joints that's already matted. Cause it's easier to frame them. So yeah, I came out of there with like six prints, and I was just like, I had to have them. Yeah, forget it. And I think that same day that I got those, I came back and I bought another piece from another friend. I bought it like the day before, and he just came by the next day to, to, to give it to me. So it was like a watercolor one.